first got into skateboarding when I was about five, six, my dad saw me riding a scooter. He said, no, no. This is some pieces from my first skateboarding contest I ever competed in. I might have gotten first in the intermediate. June 7th, I got my bracelet up here, a uh, little contest ad. That was a good one. That one really, really sparked the interest, but I wasn't really the competing. It was just getting out and seeing everybody, seeing that everybody's still doing their thing. Probably one of the biggest things for me earlier on was just not really feeling like I had anybody or anything. That's why the skateboard was always there for me. Started out front driveway, now we're over at Reed, all the way down to Baltimore, Georgia, Florida. I've skated in Maine, and this summer I'm going to uh, California. It's going to be a good one. I think it's how much you reach out and try to affect everybody with what you're doing at the skate park. That's really what I feel got me sitting where I am today. It's just the love for it. Everything kind of stops for a minute and you can just let go. You see every walk of life, you see just everybody, but an individual from each of that group is what it seems like, because they have a skateboard. And the skateboard lets you put yourself into something bigger. It's just like anything else. Art kind of found me pretty early on. I always liked doodling. I was doing Zen tangles before I knew what that was. It lets you put a part of your mind into something, which is even cooler because that's something that's not even physical, but yet you can turn it into something physical. It's all the same. It's just everything that's in here and what you can do with these. My own personal philosophy. Find what is you, what consumes you to your fullest. Something that takes such like a, like a grasping hole in your heart that you can't live without it. I'm a man of many hats.